Hi, this is Scott with the Low Tech Institute with a quick video on how to change a bike tire so you don't get stranded. So I find the easiest way to work on a bike is to flip it over uh, so you can take the tires off pretty easily. You'll want to move the gear down to its lowest gear so that the tire will come off a little easier. Undo the brakes, release the quick release by pulling the lever and spinning out, and then you can work the tire and the wheel right out. On the front it's a little easier, just undo the brakes and release the quick release and the tire should come right out. Now to take the tread and tube off of the rim you're going to have to release whatever pressure is in there with the Presta valve you have to push on this little valve after unscrewing it. If you have a shorter valve like a car tire you're going to have to find a pen cap or some other moderately sharp object to push inside the valve to release the pressure. Once all the air is out then with the valve stem towards the top work your way down around the rim leaving yourself some slack at the bottom where you can then work the tire and tread off. This takes a little forearm strength. If you want to use tools, go ahead and get yourself some tire irons which are smooth and won't uh, puncture your tube. And the way those work is you let the air out yet again and then opposite the valve stem you hook one of the tire irons underneath and hook it to one of the spokes and use the other one as a lever to push and work your way around until the tire comes free of the rim. Once you get the first tire bead off, the second one usually pulls right off. And there you go. Now you'll want to remove the old tube and look for a new tube that is the right size and it'll be printed on the side of both the tube and the tire. I inflate it just partially just so it'll have a little integrity to stand in there and I put the valve stem where the air pressure recording is on the inside of the tube or excuse me on the tire so that I don't have to search for it later when I'm pumping it up I can see exactly how many PSI it should have. Now the best way to put it on is the reverse of taking it off with your hands. You work your way down to the bottom keeping the tube carefully inside the tire and not pinching it between the tire and the rim and you work it down using your forearm muscles to seat the tire fully in the rim. Now some people will use tire irons but it's very dangerous and you're very likely to puncture the tube and have to do the whole thing again so if you absolutely must be extremely careful not to trap the tube between your tire iron and the rim or you will puncture it and have to do this whole thing all over again so if you can do it with your hands that is absolutely the best way to do it but if you have new tires or some really tight rims sometimes you have to do this but again be very, care very careful not to puncture the tube or you're in a world of upset. Uh, then you pump up the tires to about a third of their pressure and make sure the tire is properly seated in the rim. That is that it looks even all the way around. You don't see any bulges or any tube poking out anywhere. It's pretty rare that that happens but if it does you'll blow it up. Then pump it up to the full pressure. I've done the same thing on the other one as well. Once you're done uh, inflating it you have to close the valve uh, by turning on that Presta valve if you have a Presta. The reinstallation of the wheels is the same as before it, but just in reverse. Uh, use the, put the wheel in place, tighten the quick release and then reattach the brakes. Don't forget to reattach the brakes. In the back you just have to make sure to thread it properly through the chain. And Again, uh, reattach your brakes. And that's it. That's how you replace a tube. Thanks for watching. I'm Scott with Low Tech Institute. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and our website. Stay tuned for more videos on simple bike repairs coming up soon. Thanks a lot.